We view that student success is all about helping learners achieve their goals. And for some, that means getting a specific job or earning a specific salary. And for others, it may be getting a degree or a credential. And I think when we're working with institutions, it's helping those students achieve those goals in a financially sound way and at the learner's pace and adapting to the learner's needs. And so as I think about it, and probably a little bit biased to me use a Google analogy, but I almost think of Google Maps where you put in your destination and they can choose, do you wanna get there via walking, biking, driving? Do you want the fastest route? Do you want the greenest route? Do you want the shortest distance? And then that map starts to adapt based on your personal preferences. And so we know that there are a lot of students that are interested in getting their first degree, others that have degrees and getting reskilled or upskilled, others that don't have degrees or interest in pursuing something. And so our student success services is all about adapting to individual institutions and the students that they serve and how we can help them progress against those goals. And the way that we do that is twofold. One, we usually start with some sort of 10X thinking or brainstorming workshop to think about the user journey. What are those pain points? How can we use technology to assist along with the amazing faculty that you have and support systems that you have? And then second, where it usually devolves from there from the technology side is that a lot of the issues stem from data and that we need great data in order to help provide that personalized and lifelong learning journey for students. So we usually work with institutions to understand how do we untrap the data that's in silos at their universities, sitting across different departments or different areas, adding in data governance to them, and then capitalizing on new and value-add opportunities to engage students by building applications around machine learning models, chatbots, et cetera. And that's where our Google Cloud Learning Platform comes in. Um, a perfect example of that is work we've done with one university, Walden, to develop an interactive chat uh, tutor that provides students at any time of day or night the ability to practice more on what they're learning in class and, and understand and check for their understanding on text and provide different options to re-engage. So it is important to note that all that data, we recognize it's sensitive, often regulated by FERPA, and requires a fulsome and proactive security strategy. And so especially in light of a lot of the ransomware attacks and security attacks, we've been working on zero trust models to ensure that, that data stays safe, is owned by you, and, um, and only allowed access to those who you grant access to. But in closing, I'm really excited for how we can work together to help students achieve their goals. And I believe just like how smartphones changed our world 15 years ago, I think the machine learning and artificial intelligence have the opportunity to change education and help students accomplish their goals. And we're here to work and design with you. And we are really looking forward to um, figuring out how we can help students continue on their lifelong journey of learning.